so they were able to know only his age. Sad as one immigrant died two hours after rescue on the Mediterranean Sea and then the rescue team started calling the European Union authorities to come and evacuate this dead body and some immigrants were in serious conditions after rescue guys you won't believe this thing this is what happens currently on the mediterranean sea and i know a lot of people will say who sent them guys if you have passed through the mediterranean sea and you are still alive give thanks to the almighty god because it is not easy only people who have passed there will understand the situation i don't know whether youtube facebook or tiktok will allow me to post this video but guys try to share this video for me this is how the story is the sea watch which is one of the ngo rescue ships on top of the mediterranean sea now they rescued almost 50 plus immigrants after rescue some of the immigrants were in serious conditions so they started calling malta authorities for help they started calling tunisia authority for help none of them responded to them because some of the immigrants were in serious conditions so they were trying to call the authorities near them so that they would have come and evacuate this immigrant and go and give them emergency treatment but tunisia malta did not respond to them so the sea watch started calling italian authorities now the italian authority was also giving excuses two hours later one immigrant lost his life they only know the age of this immigrant that is one 17 year old guy who lost his life two hours after rescue may his soul rest in peace and rest in peace to all gone souls and what will shock you is that after this guy lost his life they called the italian authorities that look we asked you to come and evacuate this immigrant but you refuse now this is the situation one immigrant has passed on so can you come and take the dead body from the rescue ship and the italian authorities told them that they should take the dead body along with them to the port that they have given them and guys you won't believe the port that they have given them is a port of ravenna and they are taking about four days to reach ravenna and they are taking this dead body along with them georgia meloni government together with matteo salvin what do you guys want to tell us in fact this woman may the almighty god continue to bless her luciana la Morgese. this woman time you won't hear this kind of thing you won't you will never hear this kind of thing but this woman i don't know what she is collecting from immigrants even if you don't want the person what of the body you should have shown some little bit of respect to the dead body but no guys it's not easy try to share this video for me let's show the video when we are back we will give you the rest of the update so stay tuned la maschera d'ossigeno per sostenere un respiro che rischia di spegnersi la mano della soccorritrice su quella del ragazzo non serve conoscerne la lingua per dirgli con quel contatto non sei solo. Lui ha 17 anni, sono le ultime ore della sua vita. Dalla Sea Watch 5 la richiesta di evacuazione per lui e altre tre persone in gravi condizioni. Una cinquantina sulla barca di legno blu, tutti uomini, molti sono solo ragazzi, stipati in superficie ma anche sotto coperta, disidratati, le ustioni da carburante sulla pelle. Intanto passano le prime due ore dalla richiesta ma nessuno si attiva per l'evacuazione e il 17enne muore così. Averlo salvato dai flutti non è bastato. Devono passare altre sette ore perché gli altri feriti vengano prelevati, quattro in tutto perché nel frattempo un altro si è aggravato. Ma le autorità, spiega si watch in un post, rifiutano di prendere a bordo il corpo del ragazzo, chiedono di consegnarlo al porto assegnato di Ravenna, 1500 km, 4 giorni di viaggio. In quale altra situazione, mi chiedo, si rifiuterebbe di sbarcare il cadavere di un ragazzo 17enne da una nave alla quale si impone di fare 4-5 giorni di navigazione fino a raggiungere il porto di Ravenna? Questo è sintomo di politiche disumane e semplicemente razziste e discriminatorie. E col maltempo in arrivo, quattro giorni non basteranno probabilmente a Sea Watch 5 per raggiungere Ravenna, spiegano dalla ONG. Dovranno ripararsi il rada e aspettare che la tempesta passi con le persone sfinite, senza cella frigorifera a bordo e quel ragazzino ormai senza respiro che pace non trova. Ho visto il video, infatti, il Sea Watch team 
is very very angry they are saying this one is inhuman guys this is totally inhuman let me know what you think about this video until we meet again in the next video please stay defensive peace out